Hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name is Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. We sure do. And we have a fun wreath we're going to be doing today. Actually, we're going to be doing two different ones, but I'm going to be doing a fun one. So we're going to be doing a summer flip-flop wreath yep. today. So welcome everybody. Thank y'all so much for joining us today. Yes, we are so happy you all are here and taking your time to be with us today. And we would just ask if you don't mind to take just a quick second and share this with your friends. That would help us out a lot. And, and if you guys are watching us live, if you will, just type live yes. in the comments and let us know where you're watching us from. Be sure to say hi. And if you're watching the replay, also, if you will, just let us know where you're watching us from. That's right. So we, we are doing things just a little bit yeah. different today. I'm actually going to be working on some borders over here, which I know you guys have seen me do this before, but sometimes yes. when we have a lot for Flower Friday, I'll just come over here and work on some orders and I will answer any questions you guys have. That's exactly right. And I'm going to be making a flip-flop wreath. And you see, it's going to be a big one. I am using an oval wreath here to make this one with, and I've already got my bows made. And so we're going to get started yes. before long. But also, let me know what your weather is like. We have had a beautiful day after days of rain the yeah. last few days, which we needed it, and that's great. But I'm glad to see the sunshine. Mm -hmm. It's a hot, sunny day today yep. here in Alabama. And we're glad because my kids were able to play in the pool today. Yes. Which they have been so excited about. Yep, they've been waiting for and that. And it's been raining for the last several days. So yep. it was good to get some sunshine. Yes, it was. So let us know what it's like where you are. I always want to hear that. I'm just uh, curious what all you all are dealing with because I'm a summer nut. I love the hot summer weather. And so I just like to see what y'all have. So we'll go ahead and let you know what we're working yes. with today. We do have our oval and I believe it's 24 inch. I I'm not sure uh, to tell you the truth. Well, I can measure it. And see. Yeah, let's just measure it because I am actually not sure. Yep, yep. 24, 24 inch oval wreath and that's what we're gonna be using. We've got our cute little flip-flops here, and these are from R&R &R Accent, and we will put uh, in the comments where you can go to, to order these. I just think they're so cute, and I know that she's got several different colors, but I love these. Very cute for summer. And uh, like I said, I've already got, we've got two little bows made, and these are just a stacked bow. Uh, we've got a tutorial on those that Amanda can link in the comments, yeah. too for those because those are easy and you can make those. And then we're going to be using some fern to green our wreath with. We've got some boxwood. We've got a lot of different flowers. We've got some lilies that we're going to be using because we wanted to tie in the colors. Aren't those pretty? So we've got some of these. We've got some purple. I think those may be, I don't know exactly what those are. What would you think those are? I Maybe don't know, but they're, uh, pretty. <laughs> they're pretty. Whatever these are, we got these. They're pretty. We've got some uh, hot pink geraniums we're going to use. And we've got a little grass that we're going to be using in it. Uh, these pretty little yellow, uh, whatever these are, billy balls. I, I don't know that these are billy balls, though. I think these maybe are daffodils. I mean, not daffodils. What am I trying to think Dandelion? of? Dandelions. Dandelions. I think maybe that's what these are. I'm not for sure, but they're pretty, so we're going to use you them. You know, it would be nice if they would just label if them. If they would label them. <laughs> I mean, how hard would it be right there, you know, just yeah. type in what they are? It would, right it would really barcode, help. Because you know yourself, sometimes they don't look exactly like they look mm. in nature. Sometimes they do, but it would be nice so that we would know then. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do something a little different. I've got some pip berries that we are going to be using in this too. And just kind of to, to make the fun with the flip-flops and all. So we're going to use those. And, and I've got some of our little Amazon daisies that we're going to be uh -huh. using because I love those. Just to kind of bring it all together. 
Hey, Lori and Patty. Hey, Lori. Carolyn. Hey, Patty. Hey, Retha and Sue. We're so glad you guys have joined us today. Yes, we are. And I'm just going to be over here working on some eucalyptus wreaths, which I know you have seen me make, make these before. But if not, that's what I'm over here doing. Yeah. Catching up on some orders. And we're happy to answer any questions you have if we can see the comments. But we are having. Yes, having a little trouble seeing so, us. So if not, if I, we will question, go back and try to answer yeah. anything. So <laughs> keep asking and we'll, we'll try to get to it. Yes. Um, I did want to say. I used my little uh, jewelry hole punch to put holes into my little flip-flops. These are thin. They're very easy to just pop those little holes in there. And then I just used my 26 gauge floral wire to wire them right to my wreath. So very easy. And you can get one of these on Amazon very inexpensively and they work wonders. Yeah, we use that all the time. Yes. Um, especially for the little wood signs. Yes. They're so easy. They are they're simple, so easy. And they're like, I don't know, about eight, eight dollars. Yes. Not, not much. Not much more for sure. All right. I'm going to start. This wreath is going to be shaped a little differently, but I'm going to go ahead and start putting my fern in. And I've put my, my first piece right here on this side of my little flip flops. And my next piece is going to go on the other side. So I've got this one coming in right in here, just like that. And Rita was saying she thought the lilies were only used at, at Easter, but she guesses not. No, you can use lilies anytime, especially when they're the colored lilies like this. Um, you know, even the star in it, stargazers, any of those, you can use anytime. And that's one thing. There's very few flowers that, you know, there, there's, there's a few that are strictly for, you know, like I wouldn't use uh, what we call here in the South buttercups. I wouldn't use those year round. I would use those strictly the beginning of spring, that kind of thing. Or tulips. Or really. tulips I wouldn't use year round. But most of the flowers, you can pretty much use them year round. Okay, now I've got those in. So I'm just going to come down here and put one so that I've kind of got my shape going on and I can see how I want everything to line up. Lori, I think it was Lori who said that she's waiting on her Amazon florals to come in so that she can make the watermelon center. Oh, you're going to love that, yeah. Lori. I was looking at that one actually today. That one's a really fun one. You guys, it if, you, is. if you have not seen that tutorial of the watermelon center piece that we made a couple weeks ago, you should check that out. It's on our blog and our YouTube channel. And that one was just so cute and so simple. It really it was, was. very, very simple. Very to make. simple, but yet makes a big statement. Yeah. I've got it. Um, I, in fact, I'm using one of the ones that we made and have had the most people say something about it. And, uh, and you'll see in that video that it is not hard to make at all. No. So, so if you haven't seen it, make sure to go look at it. I'm kind of sad I'm not making this one though because this one looks like a fun one. It is going to be fun. I think. Now I am just coming on around with my fern. I have a feeling though this one is going to be big. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be tiny, I can tell you. Nita, we are making two different wreaths. I'm just working on some uh, very simple eucalyptus wreaths, which I have made before. Um, on Flower Friday, but if you've never seen me, they're just very, very simple to make, but we get so many orders for these, so I'm just catching up a little bit on some yeah. orders. And if you have questions, I'm happy to answer those for you. Yes, exactly. I mean, if, you know, she needs to explain, she can certainly explain what she's doing over there. All right, let me make well, sure. Well, Janet said she this. also ordered the florals uh, to make the watermelon. Yay! Yay! Just real, really I, cute. I think you're going to love it. I'm going to add one more of my ferns right down here in the bottom, just like that. 
Okay, now you see I've got all of my fern spaced just like I want those. So I'm just gonna move those out of the way. And now I'm gonna add some of my grass. Oh, and Lori Hooper said she's made five of the centerpieces and because everybody wants yeah. one, yay. And everybody's loved them, good. I am so happy to hear that, Lori. Wonderful. Yes. I was really crazy about it. I sure was. I loved it. Perfect for this time of year. It really I mean, is. I don't know. It's just something about watermelon. Yep. Screams summer. In fact, I'm going to have to go get a watermelon this weekend. I know. We need I've one. I've been craving watermelon. We need one for our Memorial Day celebration. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. So now I'm putting in my grasses. And, you know, I've got the fern here on this side, so I'm just gonna move my bow around and just add some of my grass here. And there, by doing that, I've already got that side of that bow taken care of, because you know we've got to put something on both sides of our bow. So I've already got that taken care of. So now I'm just gonna come in with my grasses just like that. Yes, Lori, we would love it if you would send pictures when it's finished. Yes. We always, and we encourage you guys, you know, if you yes, make a project that was inspired by something that we did, we would love to see a picture of it. You can email it, them to us at info at gracemonroehome.com, or you can, um, I believe you can post them on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, In the I, community yeah, section, so. yes. Yeah. We, would, we look forward to seeing things like that. We love it. Hey, Rachel, we are making a, um, she's making a yeah. summer flip-flop wreath with one of your signs. So if you will, just put yes, the link in the comments. Please that would be, do. That would be really helpful. Okay. There we go. And I didn't have as much grass as I did the ferns. That is fine. I've just pressed, you know, spread them out so that they're basically fairly even. So that is going to work just fine. So now I'm going to add some of my little pit berries because I want these to go around the outside. And these are just so cute. Now you could use them just like they are in these little bundles if you wanted to, but I didn't want real, I don't want them thick. I just want a few sprinkled, you know, all around. And these actually came from Hobby Lobby. So you can get those, you know, I know a lot of people because of the pastel colors think Easter, but you can get them right now because they have these all the time and they are in the pick section where they've got, like you know, several flowers and things. What did you say? Did you ever wear the wedding? Yes, it's They're over in that wedding. area at ours and I'm, and yeah, I'm they, assuming. They might yeah. all, not all be the same, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming that's where y'all's would be. Um, I, don't know, I was trying to get this. Okay. So y'all let us know in the comments what you're working on. And I am going to just put these kind of right in front. So where I've got this all on the outside of the wreath, these are going to come around towards the inside just a little bit. And this right here is completely optional. You do not have to add these if you don't want to. You know, if you don't like using things like that, don't don't add them. That is fine. I just uh, 
think that it will just kind of give it something a little different. So we are going to add it. And even though they're pastel, I mean, when you add them in with everything else, yes. they kind of take on the colors. They do. Whatever it is they're in. Mm-hmm. They definitely do. Just give you guys a, a little tip mm -hmm. when you're working with your greenery, and I know she said this too, but you always want to push it up to the top. Yes. <laughs> so if you get these... Um, eucalyptus or the boxwood bushes from Hobby Lobby, just take them and push them up to the top before you clip them off. Mm -hmm, and definitely. that's going to give you that nice, compact little bunch of eucalyptus. That's just a little tip. Yep. And the, to go along with that tip, we always try, now once in a while we'll get something that you can't push up to the top. You know, they'll have like, uh, like this, for instance, would have several different stems coming out that you literally can't push up to the top. I don't like to buy that kind if I can help it, but sometimes you can't help it because you don't know, you know, until after you've ordered it, so. But if you can, try to always get the kind that, that do push up. My, I don't know if y'all can hear my <laughs> wire cutters, but they're squeaking. I need some they are recording. squeaking. Yes, we're going to have to do something, aren't we? <laughs> they need some greasing. Yeah, they do. Hey, Callie. We're so glad you are here with us today. Hey, Callie. Thanks for joining us. I don't know why they put these tags on where you cannot get them off. That is definitely a pet, pet peeve. I don't know. I don't know why. I really don't know why they do that. I don't. I mean, I guess they do it. So that, I guess they you think know. you're going to just use it whole or something, just like it is. I don't know. But they put them in places that they get stuck and you can't get them Makes it undone. Hard to get them off. Yes, it does. That's just our little pet peeve. Yeah, that's our... Griping for today. <laughs> I think we gripe about all, that every week. Yeah, I think I do. And if that's all that we got to gripe about, that's not too bad. Huh? Life is not too bad. Okay, I've got a little, I think this is all of the purple. Apparently, I had used some of my purple one and didn't realize it, but that's okay. I'm going to put it back here behind the bay. Almost finished with this eucalyptus wreath. I just got to add. She's fast at those. That's why she gets to do most of those. <laughs> Especially when we have a lot of orders. Yeah. I just like to. She is. She she get can them out quick. she can put them out now. I am not nearly as fast. And I use a lot of greenery. Probably more than you really need to, but I just like mine. Mm -hmm. That's just yeah, my thing. I like them full, too. Yeah, they're good. I do not like to skimp on them, that's for sure. Now mine are squeaking, I tell you. Yes, we both they, yes. they, Yep, we got to oil them. Huge. 
Rachel, we are ready for summer. We are summer. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're ready. Yep. Yep, ready for summer vacation. And we have a very busy, packed summer. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. Now I may add a few more of these, but I'm going to put them aside for right now. So, I'm going to start. Well, apparently these were near some Christmas uh, items or something because uh, there's the top of a Christmas ornament. I thought you were going to say melted it or something. No, no, these, I don't know what these were next to. Here we go. Okay, I am going to start with my pretty little yellow dandelions or whatever they are. Uh, yeah, the eucalyptus is from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. it's, it's their bush that they have all the time. <laughs> Thank goodness, because we use a lot of it. Yes, we do. And, you know, you can get eucalyptus from a lot of different places. Of course, you know, you can get them from wholesale places. <laughs> People ask us, why do you use the Hobby Lobby boxwood? Because it is our favorite. It is our favorite. The color of it. The texture, everything about that is perfect. And I'm going to be one sad person should they ever quit carrying it. Maybe they will. I'm praying they don't because we have never found it anywhere else that's exactly like that. You'll find it close, but not exact. Okay, now I'm just kind of placing these a little, just a few here or there around the outside. On another one. Yep. Do need to clip the backs off. That one just hit the Yeah, it hit the wall. Yep. Okay. So, all right. I've got one left, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to put my lilies in. And these I actually got from Factory Direct. I ordered them because I had looked for, I wanted some flowers that were in this color and uh, was really happy to see these. That is a really pretty color. It is. That's kind of hard to find mm -hmm. too. Yes, it definitely is. I am going to put the first one just right here in the bottom. So that it just kind of falls right about the middle way. Just right in there. And now the second one I'm going to bring up here on the top of my bow, just like that. Okay, this is eucalyptus, and um, I know some of you were asking for the number for it. I will, um, I'm not sure which of these numbers is the number, but I will type it in when we get done here for you guys. Actually, I'll just direct you to the exact link uh, to where it's at when we get done. Yeah. I'll put that in the comments for you guys. Yep, because they're talking about the eucalyptus. We use the boxwood, too, from Hobby Lobby. We'll do the same exact wreath with boxwood, but... But the eucalyptus yeah, is my favorite. Yeah, mine, too. Yep. So we always have this on hand. Mm -hmm. Usually a lot of it. Yep, we order it a lot at a time. Okay, now this one I'm going to bring right up in here. Side, my little flip flop. That's cute. Yep. And then I'm going to bring this one up here in the top. Kind of like that. And just bring this one behind it. Um, 
Terry, I typically use between three and four bushes. I have used anywhere between two and a half and four. Yes. <laughs> it really just depends on the reeds. Sometimes it truly when they're does. thicker, you use more. And some of the thinner ones, you can get the same effect and you can use a lot less. But now I really like a lot of greenery in mine. So I probably use more than is even necessary. But that's just Yeah, because we do like this them one full that and... I just did a minute ago ended up being about three and a half. It was a really big it was a 14 inch grapevine, but it was one of those kind of thick ones, so it took a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it really depends on too, I think, how you put them in. The way that Amanda does, I, I, she puts them in at a really steep angle. Yes, I do. And that she, she you don't have to use as much typically, when you do that. Typically, three is my average. Mm-hmm. For what I use. Yeah. Whereas the way that I put them in, usually it's closer to four. If you put them in straight, like if you put it in straight like this, you're gonna have to use more. Mm -hmm. I put mine in at a very like yeah, just like that. <laughs> very angled. Now I'm gonna start putting in my geraniums. And I'm gonna start by putting this little tiny one over here behind my bow. Just like that. Stems are thicker, so they're hard to get in sometimes. There we go. I like the pink geraniums. That's a pretty mm -hmm. color. It, that is pretty, isn't it? They're from Michael's. No, they're not. They're from Joanne. Excuse me. I said the wrong one. I do like them. Bring this one down here in the bottom. The main thing, I'm just trying to spread them all over. gonna take this these came with this little stem cover thing and I am taking those off because they are too hard to get in between the grapevines yeah I noticed so, geraniums all have those a lot yeah I, they do and I they're just, just too hard to deal with I don't like the cover I mm -hmm. end up just take I prefer the thin stem yeah, me too they're easier to get in that way I know some of you said that you guys had a lot of storms going on, and it really uh -oh. did. I mean, we had rain for what? Yes. Three or four days? Well, at least, yeah. I mean, we didn't I have... I know. I was, I was getting rather tired of the rain, yeah. I can just tell you. And the wind was blowing bad. Yes, it was. But it's beautiful today here. Mm -hmm. We are very happy about that. Only thing when you have kids at home all day. Oh my goodness. When it rains and they can't go out and play. No. And the, I'm crazy. telling you, I had two of them 
And I even sent them over to Amanda's house for a little while to play with her too. And then she called me and said, sending them back because they're no, doing nothing but fighting. So she sent them back because that's what happens, you know. When they're stuck in the house. When they're they stuck in the them. house and they can't get away. So I'm like, that's okay, send them back. So, but, but they love each other mm -hmm. absolutely to death. So you know how that is with kids. Precious babies. Are. But they need to be outside. Yes. My kids. Yes. They stay outside. They do, <laughs> don't they? I love looking out my kitchen window and watching hers play because I can see them from my window. And I just enjoy that so much. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a Oh, Rachel bit. said she thought of me the other day when her goat had babies. Oh, I was Oh, they did, so Rachel. Bad. I loved seeing those pictures. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I'm still trying to talk my husband into letting us have goats. Maybe one of these days. He needs to. I'll need some goats. So that I can play with them and then leave and go home and they can take care yeah. of them. But they sure are cute. I love seeing those pictures well, of Rachel's goats. We've got a neighbor and they probably have, I don't know. I don't even know how many. Of the little yes, bitty goats. the little pygmy goats. Oh, they're so cute. They are. And now all I'm doing is just come around and just kind of spacing these around, just like I did all the others. And that's what I try to do. Now, sometimes I don't, but most of the time I will use one flower at a time and just kind of space them around because especially if you're working on something this large and with you know uh in in this shape and all or if, if I was doing a full one you want to make sure you get them all over and so the best way to do that is one at a time let's see Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure this. Yeah, because it's gonna be ginormous. Mm, about 39 from tip to yeah. tip. Yeah. 39 inches. So it's gonna be, hey, as we always say, go big or go home, right? So mm -hmm. there we go. It's gonna be big. I've got some, oh, I forgot about these. Let's see if I can add some of these in here. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I love it. And this is from Joann's, too. Rev said, do y'all do bridal bouquet tutorials? We don't have any tutorials on those, but we should probably do yeah, one. Yeah, we should good idea. do one. Because we made my... Um, we did. That bouquets. was on TV. I don't know if y'all yeah. knew. I know most of you do, but some may not know that Amanda's whole wedding was on the show on TLC for weddings. And we made uh, and we the made flowers. the flowers. We made, well, yes. we made the bouquets. Yes, we did, yeah. It was so a we should. Lot that would be actually. Fun. That would be a really yeah, good tutorial. We should do. Do need to do that. have to do that. Rose says she needs one. All right. But she needs uh, one. Sue, so I need am putting it. a bow on. This is one wreath. This is probably the only wreath now that I make that I. A lot of times we'll put the bow on last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, I've, I've got just a little simple burlap bow here. Yeah, it's just a small little little bow. Because you're right. Usually I put it on first. Put one on. And I mainly put this one on last just because I like to make sure I get it pretty full uh, around the bow on this one. 
because like I said, I like a lot of greenery yes, in my greenery beads. Just continuing on around with my, I was looking to see if it had the name, uh, well, my spring floral, because that's what <laughs> this is, the they name. don't put the name, so it's a, sp it's a spring floral. Um, Lou, I'm using the uh, eucalyptus from Hobby Lobby. that I would have just enough but I think I'm gonna need just a few more pieces. Uh -oh. So I'm gonna have to go get a little bit more. Yeah. I may have some of this. Yeah, I do. Oh, well that's probably all I need. I've got some, some scrap pieces. In my in my stockpile over mm -hmm. here. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm gonna bring this one on the inside of my little bow. And then I've got this little piece that I'm going to put on the inside of my big bow. other little tiny little pieces so I am going to use those and not waste them and just stick them right in here in the center. Bobby says she loves the vibrancy of your wreath. Amanda yes this is my mama. Yes <laughs> yes I for am. those of you that may not know yes that is Yes, that I am mama. her mama. That's right. Um, Leslie the flip-flops are from R&R &R Accents yep. and um, the link is in the comments somewhere, but I will post it again when we get finished. Oh, goodness. Tony said that, that the storms in New York are very severe and her house just shook from thunder. Oh, bless your heart. Well, I, the, we, don't, we don't envy you because we know what that's like. It is not... Um, yeah, in fact, those of you who are in Design with the Pros Club, if you watch the wreath critiques that I posted, was it yesterday? Yes. Okay, yesterday, the power went out in the middle of them, so. Yep. Yeah. It sure we, did. We've been dealing with that sort of thing. We were right in the middle, too. I think, of telling somebody, you know, <laughs> critiquing somebody's wreath, and there it went. Yep. Fortunately, it came back on pretty quickly, but. I will say, though, we live in... We live out in the country, and we lose power a lot, so that's yes. not really that unusual for us. No, no, it is not. That's why my husband insisted when we remodeled on doing a generator that automatically pops on, and I'm so thankful yeah. for it. We need one of those yep, in my house. You do. You do. I can tell you, I rolled my eyes when he first said that. I, I will admit that. 
that he wanted a generator. I remember rolling my eyes, and now I'm just so thankful for the thing. Well, I mean, how many times you've only I been know. in the you've only been in the remodel? How many months? Since what? December. Since December, and how many times have you already finished? had to use it? Oh, several. At least, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I can't tell you, but several. Yes. So it's definitely beneficial. Yep. They, it definitely has already paid for itself, that's for sure. So if you're thinking about it and you live where it happens a lot, I say go for it. So I just have to come over to your house mm -hmm. until we can get one. Yep. That's right. And I'm just still, I'm just literally going all the way around to make sure that I've got some all over. And I just wanted to add these because I knew I was going to have all of the different colors going on. And a lot of times if you do that and you just add some little something that's white like this, it kind of uh, makes everything pop even more. And I guess it's the contrast of it or something, but it really makes a difference. Add, I had saved, where is it? There it is. So I'm gonna add one more of my little Two of them good. Well, yay. I think I'll stop at that. Yep. May add a, a few more pieces. I'm not sure. Yep, that is good. If you if you guys want just an easy wreath to make, this is one that is just to me it's fun because it's quick and easy and you know people, and, people and seem to really love this. Yes, and if you sell your wreaths, I definitely recommend that you have one on your you know, wherever you sell. Yeah, like because a, in people your, uh, love having yeah, your Etsy shop your, or on your what, website, wherever it is that yeah that you sell, I, I recommend that you have one. Yeah, because people really like having something neutral that they can use just kind of any time. And for those of you that you know sell your your wreaths, these we typically we sell a, a lot to businesses and things mm -hmm. like that. Places that need a more neutral you know, kind of look, whatever. yeah, they love this sort of thing. So definitely if you're selling your wreaths, I, I highly recommend that you have some sort of greenery option. Um, Cause you know, you do want to market to that person as well that just needs that neutral kind of look. Yeah. But of course we love color. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I have, I have greenery wreaths inside yeah, my house too. Yeah, I, I do too. So they go, they yeah. go with, with the kind of, modern farmhouse look. They really but for do. the outside of the door, of course, we love yeah. the color. Um, Holly, this bow is, I use that linen um, burlap, so the faux burlap. I like that better than the actual burlap. Uh, yeah, I do too. Um, it's a lot easier to work with, so whenever I can find it, I will stock up on that. This is two and a half inch wired, but this loop is a five inch loop, and it's got 10 loops in this bow. Yep, so just a sweet little bow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. I do still need to clip off the backs, but I'll go back and do that a little bit later. So that's my least favorite part. <laughs> yes, it is. But it has to be done. Tony, I may end up keeping that flip flop wreath. Who knows? No, it'll probably be hers because it's too big for my um, mm -hmm. door. But I just stab myself with that. Uh, uh oh. With that steel. Uh oh. But that would go good on your in your spot. This well, summer. yeah, if I use it in that spot, because now that we've remodeled, I'm not sure, but we may. But yeah, I would. But this, it will be used. This I would go you. good on my door, but it's a little bit big. I yeah. think. Yeah. Just because it's going to be pretty big when it gets finished. Yes. Right now on my door, I still have the lemon one because that is one of the, my most favorite ones that we've done lately 
the blue. Mm -hmm. If you guys remember I the blue and yellow lemon wreath that we made, I love that one. So I've still got that one hanging out. Okay. I've got to turn it this way where I can see the whole thing really. Debra, quickly. yes, the loops are all the same size for this. They're five inch loops. It's a really simple bow. Good gracious, this one did turn out big. Didn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I expected it to be quite this large, but that's all right. Okay. So now I'm just going to put a few little pieces of my boxwood just anywhere that it needs something just to fill in a little bit of space and really the way that this this particular design if you don't want to do that it's okay to leave a little of the grapevine showing you don't necessarily have to you know put anything in it if you did not want to I'm just going to kind of sprinkle a little bit here and there. Yeah, I feel like with that one because it does kind of have the airy look. I mean, mm -hmm. it's bright and colorful and there's a ton yeah. in it, but it has that airy. It's got that airy, look. so it's okay if you don't choose to put, yeah. you know, any other greenery in it. So I think it'd be okay if you uh, did yeah. show the grapevine just yes. a little bit in there. Yeah. It definitely will. Clean up my little space over here. It's getting kind of messy. <laughs> Oh, I have one more piece. Got a messy space. Should just find somewhere to put this one. Yeah, stick it, stick it in there somewhere. It, huh? Yeah. See where I'm gonna hold. Right there. So bright and pretty. Yes, it's it's fun. And now I'm just going to add just along the inside just a little bit of my pit berries just so that they kind of you can see them on both sides. Grace said that one would look good out by the pool. It would, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if you, like a pool mm -hmm. house, like on the door or whatever. Yeah. That would be cute. Yep, it would. And like I said, you don't necessarily have to use these. I just thought they would be something cute and different to kind of add to them. They are cute. Mm hmm Just know that you can't get the price tag off the bottom. It does not want to come off. like that ribbon. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys can see that ribbon. We didn't show them the ribbons. No, I didn't. I got it. But that is really, yeah, I'll show them that. This that one and of course this and this were three of them and then the purple at the, and the yellow. Yeah, so this is what, what I was looking at. It is so mm -hmm. pretty. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It's glittered. Yeah, I um, love it that it's got that little bit of glitter going but on. But that's two and a half inch, and that came from Shop Fifth Street, or, yeah. you know, Fifth Street Studio. You can find them on Etsy or at shopfifthstreet.com. Uh, yeah, exactly. Tony, that is a 24-inch oval-shaped mm -hmm. uh, great It guy. is. And then, of course, the Swiss dot, which we use this all the time. Yeah. I love that. And we have it in probably just about every color. I know. I love that stuff. Love it. And then you can just, you know, curl your tails or leave them straight, whatever 
you want to do with them. I, and I love this little one inch. Yeah, I was just about uh, to say, what, what size is that? It's seven eighths of an inch. Seven eighths, yeah. It's just a sheer, and that's from Hobby Lobby. Yep, and it's just so I love using different sizes like that if I can. But we are going to call this one finished, although I will probably play with it a little more to add a few little things here or there. But, uh, but there we go. And as you see, it's huge. It's very pretty, but it's bright fun. and vibrant, and yes. it matches our wall back mm -hmm. here. <laughs> Maybe we'll just keep this here. We'll hang it up back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm afraid it will take over it, the it whole wall. It matches our uh, yeah, decor. It does. But yep, I absolutely love this ribbon. So pretty. And I do still have to cut off the backs because you know that's that's what we have to do. But um. And then use my blow dryer on it to get any of the glue off of it. Glue boogers. Yep, glue boogers. So if you don't know that tip, that's a good one. Yeah. We just take the hair dryer and just kind of lightly kinda go over lightly it. Lightly go over it. And that'll it. get that's rid of right. any of those stringy, what we call glue boogers. Mm hmm But there you go. Fun and in the sun. Fun in Fun the in sun. Fun in the sun. That's what yep. you call it. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. Um, it was a little bit different. We're doing yeah. a couple different things. And like I said, I was just getting some orders completed so that we could get those shipped out. Um, and then we have this really fun flip-flop. Yep. Fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. <laughs> flip-flop <laughs> read. That would go on the side of a house. But we thank y'all for joining us. We're live uh, at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time for Flower Friday Live, so y'all be sure and join us uh, next week. Yes, that's right. And go to our blog at www.gracemonroehome.com and uh, see all, we have got tons of tutorials on there that you can just, mm -hmm. you can spend hundreds. hours. Yes, because yes. we've got hundreds <laughs> of wreath tutorials. We've got arrangements. We've got all kinds of things, lantern uh, arrangements, just all kinds mm -hmm. of things. And in the comments, I'll post the link to the eucalyptus, to yes. the bows, and um, to, to the, the sign, into the sign, and to the watermelon. I know several of you yes. were talking about the watermelon centerpiece, which that was really fun. So we'll post a link. That's in the right. So y'all well. come back and look in just a little while, yeah. and come and look in the comments, and you can find all of those links. And if y'all are watching us on Facebook, if you will please follow our Facebook page so you get notifications when we release our videos and. If you're watching us on YouTube, if you will, please click the bell and the notification um, and subscribe to our channel so that you get our videos. That's exactly right. Well, we thank y'all so much for joining us, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Yes, have a beautiful weekend. Bye, Bye y'all.